Keeping your dependencies updated is one of the easiest way you have to keep the software you're building secure. Unfortunately, it's also one of the most overlooked ways. Luckily for us, GitHub Depend Dependabot. Luckily for us, GitHub Dependabot can really help with this by updating your dependencies automatically. This way you have more time to spend building your software and less time worrying about your dependencies. Let's take a look at this in today's 3 Minutes Friday. Hi everybody, welcome back to Code Dave and welcome to a new episode of the 3 Minutes series. As you know, in each episode I will try and explain a concept, showcase a product or service and yet try and teach you something and all in just 3 minutes. Short videos, big value, hopefully. Today we talk about dependencies, vulnerabilities and how to fix them automatically using Dependabot. But let's start the clock and get into it. Let's quickly see how Dependabot works and then we will see how to enable and use it. First step, Dependabot pulls down your dependency files and looks for any outdated or insecure requirements. Then, if any of your dependencies are out of date, Dependabot opens individual pull requests to update each of them. Finally, you can check that your tests pass, scan the included changelog and release notes, and if everything looks okay, merge the changes back to your code. All right, enough talking, let's see this in action. But first, I would really appreciate if you can hit the like button below if you're enjoying this video or you find it insightful. This will help this video to be recommended to more viewers so they can benefit from it and would really mean a lot to me. First of all, we have to enable Dependabot. In this repo, I have Dependabot disabled and I know it because if I go to security, I can see that the Dependabots alert are marked in yellow. I have the Enable Dependabots alert button over here. And if I click on Dependabot alerts, we can see that they are disabled and I need to enable it. So as we've seen, to enable, just go to Overview. And we have here these Enable Dependabots alerts. Just click on the button and click on Enable Dependabot alert. When you click on Enable, you will receive notifications if any of your dependencies are vulnerable. But we can do much more. In fact, we can enable the Dependabot security updates. When we enable this, clicking on Enable, we allow Dependabot to automatically create pull requests for all the vulnerable dependencies we have to non-vulnerable versions. Now that we've done that, now that we've fully enabled Dependabot, let's see if we have any vulnerability inside our code. I had to change repo because I didn't have any security vulnerability in the dependencies of the other project, but I do have some vulnerabilities over here. First thing we notice is that we have this yellow banner over here, which as the message say, it's visible only by the owner of the repo, that inform us that we have vulnerabilities in our dependencies. To check what those are about, we can either click on the see dependabot alerts over here, or we can go to the security tab down to dependabot alerts, and here we have our dependabot alert. We can see that in this case, it's a high severity alert, that affect the system.text.encodings.web. If I click on it, I can see a bunch of very useful information. We can see that this vulnerability is actually formed by four different vulnerabilities that's been found in this package in my project. And I have down here all the details of those vulnerabilities. We can see we have one high severity and three moderate severity. For each one, we have the full description with the bulletin number, the version that is vulnerable, and in this case is the actual one I'm using, and in what version every specific vulnerability has been fixed. For us, all of those four have been patched in the 4.0.1, while I'm using the 4.0.0. As you can see on top over here, there's also a remediation suggestion, which would be just to upgrade that package to the version 4.0.1. And as I said before, it doesn't end here, because in fact, we can go to our pull requests and we can see that Dependabot already opened a pull request for me to fix this package or to bump this package from the version 4 to the version 4.0.1. We can of course go into the pull request. We can see that it is an automated pull request to fix this security vulnerability. We have a reference back to the page we were looking at a moment ago. And we can see once again all the details. We can also see that since I have some CI automatically running for my pull request, 
This has been successful, meaning that most likely the upgrade of this dependency will not cause any sort of problem. Of course, we can always execute more tests, maybe manually, maybe we have some other test suite, but if everything is all right, we can just click on merge pool request and confirm the merge to our main branch. And when the pool request is merged back into the main branch, we can also see that Dependabot automatically deleted the branch it created before for opening this pull request. Finally, we can go now to our security tab and we can see that under dependable alerts, we don't have anything anymore. Today, I've definitely missed the three minutes mark. Anyway, let me know in the comment section below if you want to see more about Dependabot or if you have any other questions about it. Also, you may want to check out this video over here in which I talk about GitHub code scanning. But that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next video here at Code Dave.